Let's be real, traveling alone can be both super exciting but also super intimidating. In this video, I'm going to share my list of the top 10 destinations in the world that are best for you if you're traveling alone for the very first time. I've traveled to many of the destinations on this list myself alone, and through my experience, I've just learned that there's certain places in the world that are a little bit easier for solo travel, whether because they're super safe, there's a lot of transit in between places that you wanna go or it's super easy to meet people in. So I thought of all those things when I put together this list. First up on this list is Costa Rica. Costa Rica is one of the best places to travel alone for the first time if you're new to solo travel because it is super safe, super affordable, and also the locals are really friendly. There are also just so many things to do in Costa Rica. You can go to the beaches, you can go zip lining, there are jungles and you can go hiking through them. There's tons of wildlife to explore and see like actually in the wild. It's amazing. I went to Costa Rica last summer for the first time and I spent seven days there on my own going through La Fortuna, Monte Verde. I even rented a car and drove through pretty much most of the country alone with this car. My boyfriend did join up uh, with me after about a week of being there. We had a friend's wedding to go to and it was super fun. But for the part that I was traveling alone, I stayed in hostels and it was so easy to make friends, so easy to meet people. I would definitely go back to Costa Rica in a heartbeat. The language barrier in Costa Rica is also not too much of a problem because many of the locals speak English. Next up on my list is Portugal. Portugal is known for its photo music, its delicious port wine, its amazing beaches, and the incredible history there. You definitely don't want to miss out on a solo trip to Portugal. The locals are super friendly and super kind to tourists, so if you get lost, you can usually ask someone who seems friendly and they'll help you figure out where to go. I actually spent six weeks living alone in Lisbon and I made friends really easily. It was such an amazing experience that I'm never gonna forget. The public transit through most of the country is also really great. You can easily get from Lisbon to Porto on the train. The only thing is if you're going to go wine tasting through the Douro Valley, I would say you probably wanna rent a car or book a tour for that. But mostly everything in Portugal is just so great and so well suited for solo female travelers. I can't recommend Portugal enough. One thing you should think about when going to Portugal though is the amount of tourists that go. So book during the shoulder season. So that's like April or September, spring and fall. Okay, that brings me to the next place on my list is Spain. Right next door to Portugal is Spain, one of the most amazing countries to travel alone in. Spain is such a great country if you're traveling alone because it's, again, it's easy to navigate. There's a high speed train that goes through most of the cities. You can get from Barcelona, actually all the way down to Sevilla on the train. So that makes it super easy to get around without a car. And also it's pretty safe. So Spain is known for its generally low crime rate and that makes it super ideal for solo female travelers. And also if you do wanna rent a car, that can be actually a huge confidence booster I rented a car and drove it actually all the way from Lisbon um, through Portugal and then through the north of Spain on my own one summer and that really did wonders for my confidence. The roads are marked pretty clearly and it's pretty easy to figure out where you're going. So if you're thinking about renting a car in Spain, definitely go for it. My first solo trip was actually in Madrid and I loved it. I stayed at this hostel called The Hat and it was like a boutique hostel and I made friends, I took tours, I just can't recommend it enough. I've also been to Sevilla and Granada and Barcelona. 
all through the country and it's just a wonderful place. Next on the list is Croatia. Croatia is becoming a huge spot for digital nomads and remote workers, which means as a solo traveler, it'll be super easy for you to make friends and meet people. Also, did I mention that Croatia is just beautiful? There's tons of coastline along the Adriatic Sea and there's a ton of cute small towns along the coastline. You must go. Also cities like Split and Zagreb have great nightlife. So if you're into more of a party scene, party vibe, you will have a lot of fun joining a pub crawl. So go for it. Okay, so if you're really nervous about traveling alone for the first time, but you still wanna go to Europe, then you should go to England, uh, specifically London. This makes it a little bit easier for if you're already an English speaker or if you're coming from the US, for example, to go to a place, of course, that already speaks English and has similarities to our culture already. So you're already taking away your language barrier, which makes this a really smooth transition if you're traveling solo for the first time. You can go to the Tate Museum, you can check out the river and walk along it. You can even catch a show in West End if you love theater. There's so many wonderful things to do in London, but one thing to keep in mind is London is pretty pricey. The exchange rate between the pound and the US dollar is not necessarily in our favor. So just keep that in mind. It's not a great place if you're on a budget and traveling alone. So on the other hand, if you are on more of a budget, then I definitely recommend traveling to Mexico. Mexico is a great place to travel alone, especially depending on where you're going in the country. Mexico is a huge country and there are so many destinations that are great for travel within it. Of course, you want to avoid high crime areas, obviously, but there are plenty of areas in Mexico that are definitely safe and definitely good for women to travel alone. A few places I've traveled alone, for example, are Cancun, specifically Playa del Carmen and Tulum. And also Puerto Vallarta is incredible for solo female travelers. You could also go to Oaxaca or Mexico City. All of these places are really great for solo travel. So definitely keep that in mind. Also, if you're coming from the west coast of the US, like me, I fly out of LAX right in Los Los Angeles, it's really easy to catch a cheap and quick flight to Mexico, so that's definitely a huge advantage. The locals in Mexico are so friendly and so kind, like seriously some of the nicest people I've ever met, and they're really willing to help out tourists if um, you have a question, you know, and you need to stop and ask someone. And if you're a foodie like me, there's tacos, ceviche, guacamole, you name it, enchiladas churros oh my god i will never forget a churro i had in mexico city so definitely check out mexico next up on my list is hungary okay specifically budapest hungary or also called budapest by the locals i recommend budapest for solo female travelers because it is just so rich in so much culture and the architecture is beautiful. So many people go to Western Europe, places like France, Italy, and Spain, and they often forget that Eastern Europe is filled with gems. Budapest is one of my favorite places. I spent six weeks there, I traveled alone there, and again, it was super easy to make friends. The city is big, but it's also small enough so you can really navigate and figure out where you're going really easily. The public transit is some of the best I've seen anywhere I've gone. And it's just like, take a night tour on the river and look at the parliament building from the water. You will not forget it. You will never regret that experience, trust me. All right, next we have Thailand. Thailand makes my list um, for one of the best places to travel solo because it is just so friendly to travelers of all types. The whole country thrives on tourism, so whether you're taking a tuk-tuk, a bus, a train, or a flight, 
you can easily figure out how to get from point A to point B. I personally went to the islands, uh, the eastern islands, so Koh Tao, Koh Samui, and I actually happened to be there for the Songkran Festival uh, in April, which is actually the Thai New Year. It celebrates like a new beginning and people throw water on everyone else in the streets. It's like a huge, just like water festival. And that was so much fun. I definitely an experience I won't forget. You are going to love going to Thailand. Uh, definitely consider it uh, for your first solo trip. And also it's great for people who are on a budget. All right, so next on the list, if you don't wanna travel far from home, but you still wanna travel alone for the first time, then travel in the United States. The U.S. has a lot to explore. I definitely recommend cities like Seattle, New York, Washington, D.C., Austin. These cities are great for solo travelers. Also, the national parks. I took a trip to Zion National Park a couple years ago, and that was so unforgettable. I loved that trip. The national parks are great for solo female travelers who love the outdoors and want to see just the amazing things that we have here in the United States. Also, if you're looking for something that might not feel like the United States, but is technically still um, the United States, uh, would be Hawaii because the, the culture is just so rich there and there's also so much history to learn about. I went to Maui uh, on a solo trip and stayed at a hostel and made friends there and had such a good time. So it's very safe, definitely check out Hawaii. And last but not least, Australia. Australia is great for solo female travelers because there's just so many different things to do. There's the Great Barrier Reef, there's Sydney and the Sydney Opera House, there's Melbourne with all of the amazing restaurants and dining, also great for foodies, so I hear you. And yeah, you gotta go to Australia. I think the one thing I would say about Australia, um, if you're traveling solo for the first time is, um, you know, it is a little bit more expensive. So if you don't have anyone to split your costs with, I can be a little bit more hard on your wallet. So just keep that in mind. But Australia, it definitely is a great place. You can fly between all the cities and that's definitely a good one for solo travelers. All right, friend, that's it for today. So let me leave you with a question. Which destination from this list do you wanna travel alone? Leave me a comment. I'd love to know your answers and get inspired by all the adventures that you're having. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more solo travel tips, please check out my video on the four products I never travel without. I'm not kidding. I bring them on every trip. That'll be linked in the description below. Thanks again and happy travels.